brings me are the girls and young women who are living in very difficult conditions, but they are risking their lives by speaking up for themselves. They speak for their education rights. They speak for their employment rights. They speak for their participation in the political processes. Young people in Pakistan, they are facing a number of challenges. For example, there are few young people who are pursuing their career in politics because they don't see politics as strongly linked to them. There is strong alienation between young people and their countries, between young people and their communities. We are empowering young people so that they can speak for their rights, but at the same time, we are empowering young people as responsible citizens. They should be involved in peace programs and democracy programs as partners. They should not be involved as victims or beneficiaries of the program because then we underestimate the ability of young people as persons and individuals. When young people like us, when we come forward, when we take initiatives to, to change our society, mostly our leadership is not acknowledged by the elders or by the mainstream movement. But young people are at the heart of peace building and they are at the heart of democracy. What we do in Pakistan is that we are trying to organize dialogues between young people, especially young women and the parliamentarians and political parties so that they can get an opportunity to listen to the needs of young people and to listen to the ideas of young people. And it's through these dialogues and forums that they can speak up for themselves so that they can act as agents of change in their communities and so that they can influence the policy and legislation in their countries for women's rights.